Hey, it's me, your pal, the Fly Girl T, coming at you with another vlog. Well, I don't do vlogs very often, very rare you see me do them, but I wanted to do one because I have been gone for such a long time, a lot has happened, but guess what, we are getting better and better each day. I'm not going to get into the song and dance, but it's just a lot of financial stress, a lot of emotional, mental stress, a lot of drain, but with just actively praying and just taking steps for things to get better. You know, I gotta say that I just thank God for being the peace in the midst of my storm, like just for everything, you know? I, I just can't say enough of how just God really helped me through this and I've just really, really just owe it to him. And I, I'm really just thankful, it, you know? It may not be all together, but I'm thankful. You know, like that's the best I can just say when it comes to that. Also, guys, I'm trying new makeup. You likes <laughs> Morphe palette, James Charles. Okay. Yes. And also, this is from Black Radiance. I had something on different um earlier. Um, I don't know what lipstick or shade it is, but it's working i just don't like the design how pointy it is inside for some reason it, and it just breaks but it still looks great i'm just loving this look and i've also got some goodies from sephora speaking of makeup i'm just gonna briefly show what these are so today i got uh, let's see what i really came for today was actually the huda beauty full filter skin finish buildable coverage foundation stick so I'm actually going to maybe, I don't know if I'm going to ever do a short or something to show how I apply this or, but this is my first Huda Beauty product and I actually love it so far. In fact, I have a little bit on. I got it in the shade of cocoa. I don't know if you can see it, the text, but yes. So I got it in the shade of cocoa and it's supposed to be full coverage and I'm really excited. And this costs a mean 39 but it's worth it. It just feels great, looks great. So, and I have some of it on a little bit. Not too much. And this is not, I don't have a lot of it on yet. So, wait till I have this puppy on. Okay. So, I also got the mini Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I really liked how this felt on the skin. And also, I just wanted to try the Smalley to see if I like it. Because I have on the Revlon Color Stay primer but you know i felt like i had to work a little hard to get a nice payoff i wonder if urban decay it might cut that down a little bit even though it looks great on camera but you know i really want to try maybe something a little different and see if maybe there's a difference and urban decay has been has a reputation for having a great primer and just great makeup overall and i was about to buy the naked palette but something said just cruise over to the sephora side i was just trying different eyeshadows and guys the sephora I love bloom palette this is listen guys when I show you and I just tell you I don't know if you can see why is my camera out of focus there we go but let me tell you something about this and you're not gonna believe me what I'm about to tell you first of all I'd rather show you and tell you first beautiful colors here now they don't have them like labeled or listed like how some palettes do but beautiful, beautiful colors. Just off of the packaging alone. Very nice. But look, I'm going to show you this pigmentation. They do not play at all. Like, I'm going to put some on my finger. I'm going to try this shade here that I really like. Look how it, the camera doesn't do it justice. Like, honestly. But y'all. And then look. And this is no... Oh, I got a little my hoodie. No primer. Watch this. Say what? Say what? And y'all. And watch this. $14. For pigment like that. Come on, Sephora. Don't play with us like that. $14? Girl. And I'm really getting into my makeup and practicing more. I still need a little work with my blending and things, but your girl is learning. She's trying, but look up. This is just one shade. 
Maybe I should do a whole full swatch or like a review. Would that be fun? Tell me below if you would like that. Y'all, ridiculous. Like, this is crazy. Yes. <laughs> and also they gave me samples. Sorry. But they gave me samples. Uh, Best Skin Ever. I guess this is their dupe of Makeup Forever, but it's their long wear foundation. So you can just have like a sample. This is a nice little thing to try. So I might try this another day or when I get home. I don't know and see how it works. But this looks pretty cool. And it's also vegan. Um, so very eco-friendly. But y'all, this is not going to be a crazy vlog at all. This is really just me like just having a self-care day. It was supposed to be a work meeting day virtually, but I don't know what happened. So we're just going to have to just roll with the tide and roll with the punches. But we're going to have breakfast for dinner. Yes. And it's going to be a late, a late an evening brunch. All right, but that's enough of me really like chit-chatting about the makeup and the goodie, my little goodies from Sephora. I'm really loving this look. I'm gonna have to call this the bubblegum, I'll call it bubblegum boo or something. I don't know. <laughs> and the funny thing was I was just trying stuff. Like I wasn't, you know, I was going for a look, but you know what? It came out better than I thought. I thought it was gonna come out weird, but I had to pack on that pink and the purple just really makes it pop like an electrifying like 80s vibe to me like a modern 80s vibe but anyway that's enough about makeup and stuff let me put on these glasses here we're gonna get ready to drive it is a rainy day i'm still out here sitting in front of the sephora but we're about to move and i got my mask with me in case you know if i have to go in but we are going to head to the diner yes we're going to head to the diner to start off our evening brunch Yes, something totally unusual. And it's going to take me about a half to get here. A half to get there from where I'm at. So this shall be fun. And you get to see what's on my plate. And uh, really, we're just going to cap it from there. It's just really nothing major. Just something nice and light. But hey, hey, you get to follow me around a little bit. So, all right. Let's go. All night. Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it And by the way, just got in town Then I won't let you me this cloud all in the sky Ruin my vibe Usually I don't do this often But since recruiting Option, do you want to use your and thunder? Baby, I wonder. Baby, I wonder. Put your sweats on, put your sweats on for me. Yeah. I got the plug, I made the call for me. Uh -huh. I'm talking late night for ya. Let me lay a great job on ya. Don't hesitate, no, don't you Just say you will, will, will Come through and chill, chill, chill Just say you will, will, will Come through and chill, chill, chill Oh my goodness. Oh, well chicken and waffles. I'd rather have wings instead of breasts. And I was eyeing the bourbon banana nut french toast too. I don't know. I don't know. There's so many good choices. 
I'll hit you back up when I make it. All right, can y'all see me? Hold on. Okay, so I don't know if I should call this brush hour. Cause it's like right around, it's like brunch, but like rush hour. And it's like really like right on the tip of rush hour. So I think it's called brush hour brunch. What do you think? Maybe you started something new. <laughs> but you guys, um, you're going to see what I ordered when it comes. And it was actually very interesting. I decided to try something new. So, yeah, this is gonna be amazing, I think. And, um, yeah. so I just got water for now. Um, yeah, you need to drink more water, okay? Yeah, why you doing? Why you doing? Yeah, you will see when all my wonderful stuff comes. I just gotta use the bathroom first, but. And hey, you like my outfit? Yeah. My little, uh, let's well, just have a jeans one, but I love this top. I below y'all. Keep it. Yeah. I just wanna go along with the aesthetic today. But how are you guys doing? Hope y'all doing good. Can't wait till this meal comes. I'm so hungry. This is like the first thing I ate all day, so. Yeah. But I'm here at the diner. So cute. I'm gonna show you really quick. I'm still waiting on my hash, but y'all, look at this. Look how cute this is. And it has bacon on it. So I didn't even need to order a side of bacon. And I was like, should I get a side of bacon? But no, it paired, it just, it just went well. So I got everything I wanted. And I got my eggs sunny side up the way I like it. Okay, got my juice over here. This is just divine. Like, dude, I cannot wait to dig in, but it's just that like I don't have my hash yet so I feel kind of weird <laughs> without it but they're, they, they, yeah, they're making the hash right now so and the funny thing is I was about to go to the bathroom first of all my surface she's amazing she's so sweet so nice and um, also it's like it's just it came so fast like that's what I love about diners it's like they're so quick but girl Tea about to pick out. I'm about to. Oh lord! And now it's like I want something potato -y. Like I want some home fries, so ketchup. Let me not be fat. Like I'm really not trying to. I might even take something home to eat. Um, so I can have for tom either tomorrow. Or, well, no, I'm gonna be at work, so I'll be able to eat. But my right, could just save my money. But or if I see a little snack, something I want to eat later then I can have that and take that home but y'all this is crazy look at this this is beautiful by the way I love how they plated it and it's the fresh fruit everything it just looks so good I can't get over this eye makeup I can't I can't I really can't it just turned out better than I thought I'm so glad but that's what it is about guys and funny story I actually missed my work meeting <laughs> but it was so brief so but my boss she didn't mind like you know she didn't my supervisor didn't mind so and plus I got to come in tomorrow anyway so it's like we're making up for it so but she said it was nothing really major that I really missed so but yeah you gotta spoil yourself so maybe it was meant you know everything like i said everything happens according to divine design everything happens for a reason so as i said maybe i should have my brunch earlier i don't know but you know i came here this looks beautiful this looks great and i'm ready to dig in and i'll hit y'all back up very soon okay and then we're gonna end this vlog kind of soon but you know i just wanted to show everything maybe i'll oh we go. thank you you're welcome so here's my hash, guys.
Here's my corned beef hash right there. So just enough for me. All right, guys, so it just makes sense to sit everything on an angle because like it's just hard. I don't really have anything to really stand my phone up on. So just going to just season my eggs real quick. I always salt and pepper. At home, I have a secret ingredient how I season my sunny side up eggs. And I just, sorry, I had to move this, but, <laughs> but not to pat myself on the back, but my family always credits me how I make sunny side up eggs, but it took practice, y'all. Like, it really took a lot of practice. Even people that do it better than me, but like, it really, really takes practice. And once you like get it down, you pretty much, you're good, you know? So, all right. So I have my meal with me. I think the first thing I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna start from the sides and work my way in. So I'm going to start with my eggs. I mean, some side up eggs, it's really kind of hard to really mess them up. So I'm gonna start with that first because it's lighter. And, okay. And I'm looking at two different cameras, so if I'm going like this, <laughs> don't mind me. So light, so fresh. Ooh. Okay. No complaints. Now it's cornbread fat. So I got some of it here. Let's see. Okay, let's see. No, it's hash, so I don't really need potatoes. Because I was going to order a thing of home fries. I'm not. I promise I'm being fat, y'all. Mm. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. This is so good. Okay. Wait. Wow. Yeah. The pita resistance. Alright, so this is the... Oh, this is the bourbon syrup or maple syrup. And I'm weird like that. I have to smell my food before I eat it sometimes. And bacon and syrup taste really nice together. So I don't really mind it. But some people really cannot stand their food touching. And of course on my plate is blueberries, some butter. I don't think you guys can see it very well. Oh, that's what it's in a way. Um, and I also have fresh strawberries. So I might tilt my plate down so you can kind of see. But not where everything's going to drop off. So... Look how pretty that is. This is so pretty. I know it's kind of hard with the sideways camera, but I'm gonna tilt it enough where you can see. See that? You can see all this camera too. So nice, right? Okay. So we're gonna dig in. Okay. I want to get a nice helping, and I love pancakes. I even make sometimes my own, and I've made a vegan-friendly set of pancakes before. Um, I might have to share that recipe maybe when I get some time. I would love to share it with you guys, like how I do it. It's from scratch. Mmm. These are called, have you come to Fully Diner in South Jersey? In front of me? Guys, try the piggyback pancakes. I'm gonna have some blueberry and some, stra and some strawberry up on that. Oh, I'm so good. He got fresh fruit on the side, but also as a garnish. I never tried it with the butter yet. Okay, my butter was tilted down, but that's okay. All we gotta do is just spread a little love on there. That's all. It's quite a bit of butter for a little portion like this, but <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Yeah. This is the the best. Hey, I love treat myself. And I guess the word for today is really take time to treat yourself to something. 
it's been a while since I've really treated myself and I felt guilty about wanting to do that for a while because of all that I was going through and it's kind of like well, who do you think you are you know like you don't really have like the money or even to do some of the smallest of things but you gotta look at it and say really who do you think you are to deny yourself certain things I don't mean be stupid or be frivolous but guys you owe it to yourself to treat yourself at least to something especially if you've been through a lot like for the last couple of months it's been really hard for me to like get my mojo back and just feel better about myself um I don't say especially the last few weeks. And I really had to pray that spirit of depression off of me. And despair and doubt and just all that craziness. I was feeling spiritually tired. And... But I'm glad that I stayed the course and I didn't give up on myself. I really had to, in one of the ways, not only praying to fight that down, but I'm, I'm going to admit, like, I've made a lot of access to therapy because the school kind of, I don't know if they did cutbacks and I was getting therapy, you know, sessions for free. And, um, you know, but I think it's because I was adjusting to so many life changes. Now, it was like, you know, they say loss and gain, or sometimes it's not a loss, but it's an exchange. I dealt with so many blows so far this year, but I also looked at so many, so many bangs, like so many highs, so many lows, like I, the lows, but I looked at the highs. I really look at so much that I've gone through this year, but also what I've accomplished this year and what I have yet to accomplish this year. That's why I'm saying 2022 is my year, y'all. Even though it's been off to a rough ass start, but it's not how you start, it's how you finish. So, yes, thank you. Good. She's so nice. Um, but yeah, y'all, that's the big takeaway of all of this is for real like and I just was listening to positive messages positive sermons like positive music but also something that may have been I would say painful but like it spoke to my situations and I even I put together a whole playlist for myself like on YouTube and just was listening to it for days and also spent time sometimes thinking um you know being by myself at least naturally but being with God spiritually you know and so maybe I needed that and even though I wasn't able to go on even a trip with my friend and you know I, I endured a lot of crushing things like I did and I'm just so I'm just glad I didn't let it overtake my spirit you know about how hard it was, no matter how physically tired I was, no matter how drained I was. I didn't let it stop me, you know? So, I just want to say to you, truly before, you know, I dip out of here, is that give yourself a fighting chance and don't give up because it doesn't look like it's going to look up for me. Instead, just look up at the answer. That's the beautiful thing about rock bottom. Realize who the rock at the bottom is. And realize who the rock at the bottom is. And once you do that, the beautiful thing about rock bottom is the only way out is up. And immortal words of Drake started from the bottom. And now we're here.
here. <laughs> okay. If that ain't a word, I don't know what is. So I'm gonna continue to enjoy this here brunch, but I should say brush hour brunch. But guys, just remember to take care of yourselves. You owe it to yourself to get yourself together. It may be some things you're working through, but just enjoy some things. Find some joy even in the now, even in the midst of the storm. Find some joy, some peace in it. You know, maybe storm, but you might have to take refuge in the cage. A little, cage. <laughs> in a cave. But the nice thing about the cave, you got shelter. You know, you can look out. You can see the rain falling. Find even sometimes the joy in the smallest things. Even when you're scared, when you're doubtful find it it'll come to you and that's when things will get a lot easier even if it takes a little while but hey that's it that's that's all and you know what you want to jump on the journey you know what you got to do you just got to put that little you know smash up that subscribe button smash up that red button and this you know view be a part of it comment and tell me how you made it through some of your darkest days and your hardest times just, I just want to say that I'm a living testimony and witness that anything is possible. So, I hope that makes you feel better, you know, if you need it. And I'll talk to you soon. Ooh, almost dropped my knife. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Bye. We can do it, baby. Simple and plain. There's a little bit of shit.